Well, living lifers, it's time for another adventure. On this adventure, uh, we are headed over to Orcas Island. We're going to be camping on Moran State Park, at Moran State Park. Moran State Park, uh, the land was donated by Moran, who was a shipbuilder, and the park is really nice. So I'm on the ferry now, headed over, and today is going to be a work day, but after that, it's going to be fun, fun, fun. So come with us on this adventure. All right. All right, Living Lifers. So my first stop is Deer Harbor. I'm going to go down here and check it out. This is a little harbor that I would love to bring my boat over one day and just kind of hang out. Okay, so where I parked is, I don't know if this is the, the parking lot per se, but it looks like it is. Let's see what this place has to offer. Deer Harbor Marina is a pretty cool little marina. Uh, the owner of the marina, his name is I Ian. I'm sorry. Uh, Ian is a pretty funny guy. He really enjoys his marina. He gives away slips. If he works on your boat, he'll basically just take care of you. Yeah, he's an interesting character. He pretty much is a, it's not really a one man show, but uh, I would definitely come to this marina. It is very small. There was a guy who wanted the restroom code to take a shower. And I told him, I'm not there, but I said, one, two, three, four. And then Ian goes, you can try that code if you want. I'm not really sure if it's going to work. This guy, Sam, he's a character, but uh, go ahead and try and then come back and I'll give you the real code. So this is Deer Harbor Marina and this is Ian. If you ever go to Deer Harbor, say hi Ian, Sam sent me. Well, I finally arrived at Moran State Park and I tell you what, of course I had to get on the things I did, got my campsite set up and Next thing you know, I'm on the fish on uh, Cascade Lake. I missed this lake. It's been an entire year since I've been here. And as you can see, I'm catching fish, baby. Hey, but I am a little rusty though. I haven't done this in a while. I'm rusty. peeps my trolling motor gave up the ghost uh, that's what you get when you dump these things in the water yeah, now I'm gonna have to paddle home hey that's why you have a reserve a backup paddle has given up the ghost you know a real fisherman would troll in good idea But I'm actually here with guests. I don't want to be out here too late. 
perfect time to go in. This is God's way of saying, call it quits, boy. I'm gonna have some fish tonight. I'm gonna grill the fish. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be off the chain. I didn't bring a lot of camp food because my expectation was I was gonna catch my food. So that's what I've done. All right, Henry and I, we're trying to walk the trail. If we can find the trail, the right trail, we know where the trail is. We just, we just trying to be lazy and do shortcuts. <laughs> but Henry did point out this. Yep, they got all kind of little, it's all kind of mating happening. Yeah, that's amazing. All these worms, like they having an epidemic. The tree is covered in worms. Yep. All right. We are at Cascade Lake. This is where I caught those fish from earlier. Henry, he didn't catch no fish earlier because it was sleep. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. I was gonna catch that little one right there. All right, now you definitely sound like Fred now. Where is he? <laughs> I don't even see him. You see him? It's about that first, oh, he, he back right here now. You know what that is? Dude, that's a, a bluegill. Is it? Yeah. yeah. You got the little thing? Look at that. That's another one. You that's a him? big one. He's bigger. That's a bluegill. Uh huh. Boy, oh, look at here, look at here. Don't make me go rig up my pole for some stand fish. <laughs> look at that. Yep, I see him. Okay, I guess they do have bluegill in this lake. Mm -hmm. Supposedly cr crappie too. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Cascade Lake. And then the swimming area is way over yonder. See the kayakers on the lake now? Oh, you got a whole mess on right here. Old school. Oh, you can't be saying mess like you from the south. Old school. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm telling Henry we made it to the halfway point. We're a little bit longer than halfway. We're at the bridge now. I'm going to take a picture of the bridge for you so you can see. Yeah, quite a few people, but uh, this place is so big, everything's still spread out. So here we go with the bridge here so you can see it. How's it going? Hi, good. How are you? Doing great. All right, we got a, a beach area, a little swim area. Got some amenities here. You can rent, you can rent boats and all kinds of stuff. Got the sugar shack, ice cream. So this is the swim area, the beach. Okay, Orca's Adventure. You come to Moran State Park, you don't have to bring anything. You can come here and rent everything. Take a look at the prices for kayak rentals, paddle boat, canoe, rowboat. And so, this is right next to the swim area and the sugar shack. So if you need to rent anything, come over here. You don't have to bring anything. See any more crappie? No, I was looking though. Well, Henry and I have made a decision. We're gonna go to Mount Constitution. So before we do that, we wanna get our dinner so we can enjoy the sunset. Although from Mount Constitution, you really can't see the sunset because you're on the other side of the island and the sun sets in the west. But look at these beautiful views. This is our 
during our dinner after dinner walk. Uh, the lake is beautiful. It's quiet. The campground is quiet. Moran State Park is quickly becoming one of my favorite state parks. And the fishing in this lake, you guys know I love the fish. The fishing is phenomenal. Yeah, so we're going to get ready. We're going to get up there and catch it before the sun sets. It's amazing how dark it looks where we are now. But once we get up the mountain, it totally clears up and is bright. And you'll see that in the video. This is later footage in the video. Yeah, and Henry's like, yep, let's go do it. And so we're headed up to Mount Constitution. You can hike it. It's a eight mile, 8.6 mile round trip hike. If you're in decent shape, go for it. No real wild animals to be concerned about, so you'll be good. All right, living lifers, we are at Mount Constitution at Moran State Park, Mount Constitution. Beautiful views. What I'm gonna show you, it's gonna drive you crazy. It is beautiful. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Uh, the tower is closed right now for maintenance and repair. But there's a tower, you can go up and get a higher view. Now look at this. Look at this. From up here you can see lakes. You see the San Juan Islands. I'm not sure what that is like a marina over there but if you look down it's kind of hard to see right now especially with the camera but there's a lake right down there that's pretty nice this is lovely All right, living life. I'm at West Beach Resort, uh, and so we are gonna watch the sunset here and eat pizza, drink a beer, and Henry's drinking his mimosa. But uh, this place is pretty nice. Let me let you check it out. Living life. This is what we're trying to do. I wish Leva and Pamela were here. Our resident geese. So this is the dock that we were supposed to stay on. We're leaving I a couple years. Uh, this was before the the pandemic got hot and heavy. I guess about three years ago now. Man, time flies. I must be getting old. So this is West Beach Resort. This place right here got pizza, ice cream, and then you have cabins on the beach, uh, which I'm pretty sure are hot commodities. And we are here to watch the sunset. This is actually pretty cool. Do I recommend it? Yes, I think so. A clean fish cleaning station, non-potable water, not for drinking or cooking use. Do I need to raise the bridge for you? 
Ha, ha, ha.